So this um, live edit that I'm about to do is inspired by the recent shows at London Fashion Week, Autumn Winter 2019. They were two weeks ago and I assisted the amazing Sam McKnight as always. The, the guy's a genius. And what I wanted to show you was my interpretation of the hair that we did for Halpern, which was really cool, had like a ridge in it, and it was all about the rest of the hair looking soft and deconstructed. So it's all about wearing it effortlessly, with lots of luxury in the hair, and lots of moisture, and then this really interesting line, almost like a crinkle, two of them that move back in the head. And the, the really interesting part is it drops into the socket of the eye and you'll be able to see that in the um, in the take. So, shall we go over? So this is the beautiful Megan, and as you can see, Megan's got gorgeous hair. And I've spent a little bit of time preparing this head because she's actually got a little bit of a wave in it. It's very dense, and um, what we wanted to make it was, what do we make the hair smooth? Because the ridge is going to be created using the Babylon's Deep Waver, which is this beast. And you can see as I open that, how deep that piece of steel goes into the socket. So we want to be able to create almost like a crevice in the hair. But the position of that is really key. Because we don't just want to use it in a really conventional way. What we want to do is we want to create a ridge that emphasizes the socket of the eye and travels back in a uniformed way. So Sam's reference was effortless hair and with with an edge of strength I'm going to start on this side first now what we do is we, we've gone in with a low side pattern on Megan's hair and we're just going to take the surface section of hair. That's all. That's all we want. We don't want to do the whole thing. This is about just doing it on the edge. And we're going to go in there just to seal the deal with a little bit of modern hairspray. And that's just going to give us heat protection and actually seal the, 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 the crease in the hair. So a light dusting. And then pick up the waver. Now as you can see it's all about that arm and what I want to try and do is hold it low and go in parallel to the socket of the eye and tilt it back the way. So as I crease the hair I gently place it in the waver. Now it's, the good thing about these wavers is they have heat control from 170 to 230 so I'm not using it on maximum um, I'm just using it enough to get that dent. Okay, now here's the part that's tricky. You must make this section of hair not move. Because as I release the line, you can see it. You can see the bend and the shine in that. Okay, now what I want to do is go back in on top of the same line. Yeah. Now look here, look where that crease is. It's right on the socket of Megan's eye. And you're gonna see what that does in a sec. I just release it, like so. Now what's really cool is you can just comb that hair back into the underneath here. And it just gives it this really elegant ridge. And because it's been prepared, we've prepped the hair with Wendell and Moody's Smoothing and Shine Oil just to give it an ultra glossy finish. And you can see what that's done. It just gives it this amazing reflection, which is really key. So I'm gonna go in now with the, 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 the piece next to that, which is this section. So on this side, there's obviously more hair. What I've done is I've prepared the blow dry to allow the hair to fall over the eye. You can kind of see that's already happening there. 
So what I want to do is I want to put the crease in there so that it actually brings that eye out. Yeah? So, exactly the same. Take a section, not too big, not too small, just the width of the waver. And I go on a slight diagonal because there's a little short section around the face. So, a little dust, modern hairspray. This product's particularly good because it's got heat protection and a really pliable hold. So, this is where the magic happens. So you can see the socket of the eye is my guide. And I release that crease, which is gorgeous. And go below and re-enter the iron underneath. And just go back into where the line is. And you can see what I mean about that beautiful crease. And then gently let out. Ta -da. And it just looks really modern. And if we can come round the other side, you'll see it sneak through the interesting part of the face, which is the socket in the eye. Gorge. So I'm just going to continue on this one. Okay, so now I'm just going to join the back end. So we've got two sections here in the back. I'll need to join this line and this line. So I want to join, I want to drop the iron that way and drop the iron that way. So we, we practically meet in the center here and here. So my first section will be from the center point and it'll just be enough for me to grab a hold of. I'm just gonna stretch and get that spray. One, two. And then I'm gonna take my guide from here. If we could just pick that up from there. Open up the waiver and then back in. Now what we want to do, we're just going to join this up. We're going to join it up by using a white tooth comb. Um, this one. And basically we just rake the hair through but we keep it flat, we don't want to lose the place of the wave. So as you can see, if we turn Megan 360, you can see the crease on the surface here only. You know, and I'm using the white teeth comb just to kind of join these little marks up and you get that lovely bouncy ridge in the hair. And it just sits in the socket of the eye in a really cool way. So this is my interpretation of the Sam McKnight show for Halpern 2019 Autumn Winter. Hope you like it.